Hi all, I'm just giving a quick going over the Nisho labels and their website. So you'll use this more so for the wine bottle templates. Um, the A4 plain sheets you can use on your Cricut or Inkscape or anything else. You can also use it on this now if you really want to. So when you get the Nisho labels, they will give you the website. So it's nisholabels.com. So when you go in here, you'll see it has the software and templates. So you want to go into software templates and into wine labels. So this will bring you in then. So you're going to pick this here, the blank wine template and online software. So just click the online software button. Now, this is going to ask you to set up an account. It's very easy. They don't send you emails or anything. You just set up name, password, email. So, very, very simple thing to do. You can see now I've already got an account, but you'll just click sign up when you come to this. So, I'm going to log in now. So this is basically, they have kind of their own design software in here for it. Now, you're not left with a lot of choices, okay? So you hit products, it's going to be on your wine labels. You hit designs, they have a few things you can do, okay? So if you want to try and do everything up here, you can do your text. So you can do plain text, curve your text, text on a path, text, text effects, text art and word cloud. Now you also have the upload option. Now with the upload, this is what I've done because it's not giving me tons of options to design in here. So I already did my design up in Inkscape. Okay, so I'm just uploading it. So I'll just go to browse file. And that will bring up my files. So I know I have mine in downloads. The file I want is this one, and I'll open. So as you can see, this is what I want on my wine bottle. All right. Now they do give you some options here: remove outer white, remove any color, remove all white. I want my design the way it is. So I'll hit apply, and you can see it brings up my design there. Okay. Now anything you've uploaded will be saved as well. So I've been playing around with this, so I had a few things uploaded. So you'll see here, at the bottom, recently uploaded, okay? So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to choose which label I want. So on your sheet, you get four wine labels, okay? So. You, I was clicked in this one, so there is my design. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this fit. So I'm just going to spread it out. Now, so there is my label. Now I can make it fit, but my background is white, so it doesn't really make a difference. I can make it bigger to fit all right so then I'll click into my small label now I'm just going to write congratulations here just to show you how the text works so I'll just go into plain text and you'll see here you enter your text so congratulations and I'm going to hit the plus button that's going to add that so we'll stick with this and I'll hit update and X out of it. And you'll see it's much bigger than the wine label, so I'm just going to shorten it over and make it fit. Now, I'm going to do four of the same. Okay, 
So all I need to do is go in here. Now, if I wanted a different image, I just go in here and upload again a new image. So you can do four different wine bottles. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four of the same. So I'm just going to click on that. And you can see you have your copy button. So I'll go into the next one. Click in and paste. I'll click into the next one and paste. And into the next one and paste. So now I have my congratulations on the bottle for the neck of the wine or for the neck of the wine bottle. So I'm going to do the same here. Click on it, copy. Go into this. Sorry, go into this, paste the next one and just paste it and the next one and paste. So now I've got all of them done. So you click into each one. And now what I'm going to do is I can preview it. So to make sure that they're all good, so that looks fine. I'm just going to close that off. And it's ready to download a PDF. Okay, so this will actually download a PDF onto your computer. So I'll hit that. And mine is downloading here. So I'm going to go to open. And you can see now this is ready to go. Now, obviously, I've tested this. So the first time I was printing, I went to print. It looks fine. It doesn't print this way, okay? It prints upside down. So you have to put your labels in the opposite way of the way you'd usually put them in. So you're not you're going to have your labels upside down. <laughs> All right? So don't make that mistake. So that is how you do it. And then you'll just print and your labels are done. And I'll print this off now and show it in the class on a Facebook Live.